What is up you guys, Nick here, and in today's video, I'm gonna be doing a deep dive approach on NEO's future, specifically focusing on their battery technology and battery as a service, and what it will mean for their company and investors moving forward. As a long-term investor, one needs to understand where the company is going in the coming months, quarters, and years. If you don't know the future of the company, how are you putting capital into that company? It's for this reason that I'm gonna be slightly mending the style or format of my videos, and instead of talking about these surface level topics that you see all over YouTube, it's just mind-numbing regurgitation of the same subjects over and over again. I'm gonna be taking more of a deep dive approach to certain specific topics and aspects of companies I really like, and in this case, NEO. I wanna do these more deep and thorough analyses to give you a better chance of really understanding the fundamentals of the company, what aspects you like about a company, and what aspects you don't like about a company. This video is about battery as a service and their battery technology, and why it will fundamentally shape the direction NEO is taking. If you haven't already, hit that subscribe button. I do a ton of videos like this going over EV, tech, IPOs, and focusing on disruptor companies that will be well poised for the coming landscape. I've been keeping an extremely thorough eye on NEO and will continue to do so. I first invested in them at $3 a share and first told my subscribers to invest in them at $7 a share. This company is one for the books. You don't want to miss any of my future updates or future picks, so hit that subscribe button. While you're down there, smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. It really helps propagate the video out into the airwaves, and I would really appreciate it. Before we start, I've partnered with Weeble, and they are doing an unbelievable promotion where you receive four stocks, each worth up to $1,600, when you open up an account with them and deposit in at least $100. This is an absolute no-brainer. The link is in the description. Go hit it, Weeble is amazing for analytics. I actually love their platform. Anyways, let's get right into the video. I wanna start this video off with what I think will be an absolute game changer for Neo. Something that completely sets them apart from the rest of the battery pack. Sorry, the pack. I am truly not sure if investors and analysts truly understand the full potential of what battery as a service could be for this company. NEO finally rolled out this program in November, which allows consumers to rent the battery while purchasing the shell or the body of the vehicle. By doing this, they aren't only lowering the barrier to entry point, but they are also increasing the resale value of their vehicle. Consumers can save up to 128,000 renminbi when purchasing the new 100 kilowatt per hour battery pack. This translates to almost $20,000 USD. $20,000 cheaper than if the battery was completely affixed to the vehicle. This really is incredible and speaks volumes about what this service and business model could be for this company. For then only about $150 a month, consumers can then rent their batteries each month paying the subscription fee instead of having this huge upfront cost. They've also implemented this very unique and forward-thinking reselling program with only a press of a button on an application you can essentially resell your vehicle for a much higher price than if the battery had been affixed, deteriorating throughout the years. Because batteries are the most cost per square inch component of the vehicle, consumers are extremely happy to simply rent, severely slashing these purchasing prices. When it comes time to sell the vehicle, consumers can just change the battery at a swap station, essentially restoring nearly the original value of the vehicle every single time. It's easier to purchase a vehicle when you are virtually guaranteed that the heartbeat and most cost heavy proportion part of the vehicle, the battery, will be in perfect condition when it comes time to sell. The vehicle is then also inherently able to stay in better condition moving forward. It's also safer as you don't get a wearing out battery over time. NEO now has 158 battery swapping stations strategically scattered throughout China and it's important to remember that they are receiving a portion of every single battery swap and monthly battery subscription fees through battery as a service. Rival company Tesla, you may have heard of them, also toyed with this idea of a swappable and changeable battery back in their early days and they may be kicking themselves now seeing how successful and lucrative this business model can be. With more NEO vehicles on the road, NEO power and revenues coming from these swapping stations will only exponentially increase. And I would not be surprised in the least seeing the total proportional revenues coming from this division to exponentially surge in the coming quarters. NEO has recently rolled out their 100 kilowatt per hour battery pack 
which uses CTP or cell to pack technology, which can grant up to 615 kilometers per charge. This new battery represents a 37% higher energy density and new engineers were able to accomplish this through four different factors, through a lighter weight, improved thermal tech and all climate thermal management, and cloud bi-directional communication, and a highly integrated design improving space utilization by almost 20%. It's also important to note that their batteries have been becoming less expensive. Showing that this outsourcing model and not being vertically integrated is a legitimate business operation and can work and be lucrative, at least for the time being. These continually less expensive batteries are allowing NEO's vehicle margins and their gross margins to both enter double digits just last quarter in Q3 and are expected to reach at least 15% in Q4. NEO has also been continually unloading cash into research and development into autonomous driving technology and to future battery upgrades. They are excruciatingly focusing on reducing mileage anxiety which is one of the leading deterrents from consumers actually purchasing an electric vehicle. They are doing this through a three-pronged approach. They are using longer lasting batteries, they are increasing the amount of swapping stations scattered through China, and they are also reducing the time per charge, which is now under three minutes. Management is obviously seeing a huge incentive and future upside to continually just unloading cash into research and development into their battery technology as they now have over 300 filed and granted patents. This is huge for me and investors to continue believing in this company. They're continually adapting and mending to their environments and leading the charge in virtually every single aspect of autonomous driving and battery cell technology. They're continuing to innovate and carve out a larger and larger market share for themselves. They're not slowing down, but they are speeding up that's a pun on research and development. NEO has now completed over 1.18 million battery swaps, which is incredible as just a few months ago, it seemed they just hit 500,000. This means they are gonna continue to exponentially increase these battery swaps. Remember, with the more NEO vehicles they have on the roads, this source of revenue exponentially increases. As we emerge out of this health situation leading into next year, three years down the road, five years down the road, this could be a major proportion of their total revenues. NEO's relentless commitment to continuous allotting of capital to research and development is also extremely apparent in their autonomous driving technology. This improves on what seems to be a daily basis at this point. NEO's NOP system, or Navigate on Pilot, is the first commercial application of an advanced driving assistance system in mass-produced cars within China. Just another race that NEO seems to be leading. The system allows your vehicle to follow a navigated route on roads and highways with little to no driver attention needed. This is an improvement on NEO Pilot, which helps park the vehicle, adaptive cruise control, lane assist, automatic high beam, cross traffic alert, brake and rear, and other neat aspects. I will have a video on this technology and what it means for NEO and NEO's investors in the coming weeks. Their batteries are also a key factor of what sets this company apart. And that's important for people. People want to be driving a unique forward thinking vehicle. Up to 40% of all new NEOs sold and bought were because people were referred from pre-existing NEO consumers. They are a unique company, which is appealing to consumers. It's appealing and cool and fun to go to a battery swap station, and in under three minutes, you have a completely fully charged new battery, and you're on your way. This just seems to be so much more advanced and forward thinking than having to wait at one of these charging stations sometimes wait in long lines because there aren't enough charging stations, and then also wait for your car to charge up. I really do think this battery swap technology is the way of the future and is the right choice. It's also important to note that with this infrastructure already in place, I would not think it's out of the realm of possibilities in the future years for other companies to format their batteries to fit NEO's specific swapping stations. If this were to be the case, it wouldn't also be out of the realm of possibilities for NEO to be taking a sizable fee from other vehicles. This would only exponentially grow their total revenues year after year after year. 
They have already done the hard part. They have the infrastructure. They just need to grow it. Anyways, guys, I hope you liked my video. I hope you liked going a bit more in depth than what we're seeing elsewhere on the internet. Anyways, hit that subscribe button if you haven't already. I really would appreciate it. I've been keeping a very close eye on Neo and will continue to do so. They are one of my favorite companies legitimately out there. Smash that like button for the YouTube algorithm. I'd really appreciate it. Anyways, see you guys in the next video. Cheers.